Hello and welcome to Car Fix Automotive today's video we are going to discuss about top reasons why a car cranks but won't start. Number 1. Fuel injectors problem. Damaged fuel injectors doesn't supply the sufficient fuel amount to the engine cylinders. When the fuel doesn't reach the engine, you may face a problem where the engine cranks but doesn't start. After a certain period, the fuel injector may get corroded, dirty, or clogged. That said, these clogged fuel injectors will not supply the right amount of fuel to the engine cylinders resulting in a lean air fuel mixture. Besides, a bad fuel injector may cause a car to turn over but won't stay running. Therefore, you can check the fuel injectors by using a multimeter. If you find there is a problem with the fuel injector, you must replace it to achieve optimum car performance as a working fuel injection system has several benefits. Number 2. Bad fuel pump. If the injectors are not clogged, check the pressure of the fuel pump as it might be the reason your car isn't starting. Another reason why your car cranks but won't start is a bad fuel pump. It is not always necessary that you have faulty fuel injectors, it may be the bad fuel pump that doesn't supply the right amount of fuel. To find out if there is a fuel pump problem, check the flow with a fuel pressure gauge. If there is zero or negligible pressure, you need to replace the fuel pump. However, if there is low pressure, your car has a clogged fuel filter or a bad fuel pump. In either case, you need to replace the fuel filter or pump to get your vehicle running. Number 3. Spark plugs and ignition failure. Corroded spark plugs will not ignite the air fuel mixture properly. If the compression is fine and there is no problem with the fuel system, then you might have failed spark plugs or an ignition system. The ignition system consists of the following components, spark plug and wires, ignition coil, distributor, ignition control module, when you turn the key in the ignition, the spark plugs burn the air fuel mixture. However, worn out or bad spark plugs can malfunction which causes the engine cranks but not start. When you check it with an onboard diagnostic, OBD, sensor and it shows the car diagnostic code, P0301. The problem may be bad spark plugs, ignition control module, or distributor. Although the modern spark plugs last more than 100,000 kilometers, they can still fail earlier due to high carbon buildup. Therefore, replacing spark plugs is a better option to resolve your problem. Number 4. Bad crankshaft position sensor. Your car needs to spark plugs to ignite the air fuel mixture at the correct timing. If there is early or delayed ignition of the air fuel mixture, the problem may be a failed crankshaft position sensor. The car computers or electronic control unit, ECU, determines the spark timing. Therefore, if the crankshaft position sensor malfunctions, ECU will not be able to determine the correct spark timing. It will result in car cranks but not starting. You can take your car to the technician or check it via an OBD sensor. If it shows the code P0330, you need to replace the crankshaft position sensor. Number 5. Insufficient compression. Test the engine compression to find out if there is problem with compression ring or gaskets. The engine needs fuel, air, spark, and compression to generate power. When the car cranks but won't start, the problem may lie in the compression. If there is a problematic compression, it means the gaskets and seals are leaking air. That said, it will disturb the compression ratio. Besides, the issue can arise mainly due to the following components failure, burned valve, worn out compression ring, blown gaskets, in this case, you can consult a professional technician who can test the engine compression and make the necessary repairs and replacements. Number 6. Incorrect engine timing. Often this problem happens after replacing a timing belt or timing chain. If a car doesn't start after this repair, the timing must be double-checked. In cars with a timing belt, an old belt can jump slash skip a few teeth, which will change the timing. In some cars with a timing chain, a chain can also skip a tooth if a timing chain tensioner fails or if there is not enough oil in the engine. If a timing belt or chain skips in an interference engine, especially at high speed, there is a chance that the valves can get bent. This could be an expensive problem to fix. 
Your mechanic might suggest checking if valves are not bent before spending money on a new belt or chain. In a non-interference engine, replacing a timing belt or chain with related parts and resetting the timing might fix the problem.